ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom met some Stanford and Berkeley graduates building a tiny little VR camera with just one button. It's a prototype. And if it looks like it's staring at you, well, that's because it is. Are you taking a video of us right now? Oh, yes, I am. But not just any video, a three-dimensional virtual reality video where you can put on a headset and look around. That's us, huh? Yeah. That's us. It's called the Lucid Cam, and when it's finished, it'll look like this. You can take a picture now, holding it like a mobile phone. It still has those two beady eyes because it's built to see the world just like you do. Even the distance between the lenses is exactly the average eye distance. It's a big departure from other VR cameras hitting the market. Designed for professionals, some have up to 16 lenses. And I need like 15 minutes or 20 minutes of setup. <laughs> or they're extremely expensive and I can't afford to do it. Han Jin wanted a simpler way to share experiences with his family halfway around the world. And feeling like I'm there with my parent or with my grandma at that special event. Compared to those big budget VR cameras, the Lucid Cam is something you would use just for fun. And people won't always view the images on a big budget VR headset. More likely, they'll use something like this, made of cardboard. They go into the 3D mode, and then they slide it into here. It was Google that first introduced the cardboard VR viewer a year and a half ago. It's meant for short trips into the virtual world. Like one minute, two minutes, maybe up to ten minutes max. The New York Times is giving these away to subscribers, and you can use them with Lucid's free app to preview what the camera can do. You feel like you are walking. And that, that's a special part about it. Of course, you can get a whole stack of these if you pre-order the $300 camera on Indiegogo. Oh, wow, we've crossed 10000 They say the fundraising's going well, and they plan to ship early next year. In Sunnyvale, Jonathan Bloom, ABC7 News.